Hi, I'm Daniel Cox from Natural Exposures TV, and today I want to share with you a really special lens that I recently received from Olympus. This is the new 150 to 400 millimeter zoom. I honestly believe this lens has the potential to revolutionize wildlife and nature photography. And the reason is, is that many people in years past, me included, had to be closer to animals than we really would have liked to have been. And since it's built for the Micro Four Thirds cameras, it has a two times uh, multiplication factor. So 150 to 400 becomes a 300 to 800 millimeter lens. And I always said years ago, if we could just have better optics that got us closer to the animals without interfering with the animals, we would all be much better off. The Park Service would love us, the National Wildlife Refuges would love us, and the people who look after these animals, which is the most important thing in wildlife photography, is the concern and safety of your subject, would all be really grateful if we had the ability to really stand back and take pictures from a distance. And this lens has the potential to do that. It's finally, it's finally come. I've been shooting pictures for literally 40 years as a professional wildlife and natural history photographer. And all through the years, I've used the typical gear from Nikon that most professionals use, the 300-2.8, the 2-400, the 600-F4, 500-F4. And so all of those lenses I used in the past have their current day equivalents, and they're all the same magnification. Whereas this gives us the chance to really increase magnification and do uh, our job without affecting the animal negatively. Number one, it's not only better for the animal, but number two, you actually get better opportunities to photograph the animal's real natural history because you're not affecting them in any way. Ideally, they shouldn't even know you're around. So that's one of the things that I'm most excited about this lens. One of the concerns that people have about this lens is its price. So let's talk about that right up front. This lens is $7,500, and that is expensive. But when you compare it to the price of the equivalent optics in the Nikon and Canon line, all optics that are truly professional are going to have a price tag that reflect that. So let me bring up and show you quickly, and we'll compare the Olympus 150-400 to the Nikon 2-400. So here we are. The black lens here is the Nikon 2-400. Now admittedly, this is the older version. It's not the newest version. And the newest version is actually a 180-400 and it has a built-in teleconverter. This is the older version that I shot for many, many years. I no longer have this lens. A good friend of mine, Bayless Ward, had this lens and allowed me to use it for this comparison. So let's compare these two lenses side by side here. And as you can see, the black lens, which is the Nikon, the white lens, which is the Olympus. The Olympus is considerably shorter, maybe, maybe two or three inches shorter. I haven't actually measured them. And when it comes to price, let's talk about that because that is, as I mentioned earlier, one of the main concerns that people have about this Olympus lens. So the Olympus lens is $7,500 US. The newest Nikon 180 to 400 is $12,400 US. And the Canon version of that is $11,000 US. So even though this sounds expensive, it's considerably less expensive than its comparable optics in the professional line from Canon and Nikon. When you get into the pro optics, lenses of that quality are going to cost more money. Not to mention that one of the other things that we have to take into consideration today is the fact that there are not as many people buying these lenses as there used to be. In fact, I originally was going to hopefully try and borrow uh, a Nikon, the newest Nikon 180 to 400 and the Canon 2 to 400 from my local camera shop who typically has virtually everything in stock. I called Marshall from Bozeman Camera and said, hey Marshall, I'm doing this comparison. Do you have the Canon and the Nikon? And he said, you know, I haven't had either one of those in for ages. We just don't sell that many of them. And it reinforced what I've known for a long time, and that is that there's just not as many pros any longer. Because there's not as many, they're not buying as many of these top dog lenses. So when you don't sell as many, you're gonna to have to charge more money. And I personally think that's basically what is happening with this really high quality optics that we have in the Olympus lens. The good news is we have it. And if we do have projects that warrant that cost of a lens like this, we can buy it. 
So let's talk about weight. The Nikon, or the equivalent of this lens, the 180 to 400, is 7.7 .7 pounds or 3,500 grams. The Canon is 7.98 pounds or 3,620 grams. And the Olympus is 4.1 pounds or 1,875 grams. So we're talking about almost half the weight. Um, not as much as half the size, but definitely half the weight. And that's a big deal when you're trying to move quietly and unobtrusively in the wild, working with animals and keeping your subjects from knowing you're there and not disturbing them. And not to mention how it feels on your back when it's in your backpack and, or over your shoulder. So that's a tremendous advantage of the Olympus lens. So that's a basic comparison as far as trying to stem the, the disappointment with people as far as how expensive this lens is. It's important to remember that high quality optics are expensive to produce and we're really fortunate to have the option to at least be able to buy this lens. So Olympus does sell a protective UV filter for this lens and I ordered one of those. Lens of this caliber, whether it's Nikon's, Canon's, Olympus, Panasonic, whoever, I personally think that it's crazy not to protect that glass, and especially when you're shooting in the elements that, that we shoot in uh, for wildlife and nature. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we're gonna be shooting this lens now for the next seven to 10 days, and I'm gonna share with you the pictures that we get from it. I'm really excited to try it. I'm astonished that I have it this soon. It's scheduled to come out and be available mid to late January. And so that's pretty much it on this lens for right now. We're gonna take it into the field. I'll share some, some thoughts and some pictures with you from the field. But I really wanted to just get this little video out and help hopefully help stem the tide of the negative talk that I've heard about this lens because of its price. And as we discussed in the very beginning of the video, when you compare it to Nikon and Canon's version, it's actually almost half. You have to take that into consideration and keep it in mind. Thanks for joining me here on Natural Exposures TV. If you like what you're seeing, do me a favor and subscribe below and uh, add your comments to the, to the video if you like. Uh, let's keep the conversation going and I'm looking forward to sharing some of this stuff with you.